I was working and I got kicked out and disconnected. Oh, there's the money. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back here in a block board. And today is the day, guys. A day where I truly think you guys want to torture me. So I decided for today's episode, I'd build a house. But I cannot use concrete, a gable roof, the color brown, the color blue, wall trims, cannot be an L-shaped house, and no warm lighting? A house with no warm lighting? Are you serious? That sounds about right. Yeah. Those are most of the stuff I use for my houses, so we're gonna try to build something that doesn't involve any of this. For those that don't know what an L looks like, I'll show you. We don't want to do that, okay? <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna scrap this entire build. I just spent like, how many? I spent 17 minutes doing this, but um, so I know the perfect house, like house style to make for this challenge. It's a container home because most container houses are made out of like metal and um, metal. We're gonna make a container home. If you don't know what container house is, Google it and um, you'll see what it looks like. But I feel like this is the perfect challenge for me to not use a gable roof because container houses are flat. They're really simple too. Like they're super simple houses. They're literally rectangles. That looks like a shoe. If the shoe fits. <laughs> I've never made a container home, but it's it sounds simple, but I don't even know if I can actually make a simple house. <laughs> That's how bad of a builder I am. Oh gosh. Okay, this house is gonna be fun, don't worry. And then underneath this house will have like a patio or something. Um, this particular house, found a photo that I'm basing this off of, but I'm also kind of like doing my own tweaks to it, which is, you know, the same thing as making it worse. Well, oh, I really like this. I really like that fence, that's nice. It's simple, but we're gonna try to make it stylish, right? Like, you don't have to do the craziest, complicated, artsy things. You can make something super simple and still kind of make it stylish. Different house style too that I don't normally do. But yeah, that was a really good window to use. Look at that commercial. Like this commercial window is perfect. The floating stairs where they were, they're like floating stairs, the modern stairs. Oh yeah, this is terrible. I don't like this cobblestone anymore. It's kind of like not my thing. It's not that bad. Actually, I like that. We'll do that. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of second guessing myself on these pillars. This is supposed to be a balcony, so why not add a door here? <laughs> Since it is a container house, we can use like metal. Can we, oh, I can't use blue. <laughs> I was like, I can't use blue? No, no forms of blue allowed. Houses that were made from shipping containers, right? I just realized something. We're gonna get a concussion right here. Spiral stairs would be better. Okay, let's use spiral stairs. Maybe it's these trees. <laughs> Let me get rid of those trees. We don't need no snowman looking trees. Use the trees as a way to hide your terrible building. <laughs> building tips with Peter Brown. Oh, that kind of looks cool. You might get concussion right there. Hold on. Hold on. Concussion alert. Concussion alert. Oh, these stairs are using brown. I can't use brown. We gotta change that. I'm trying my best here, guys. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Can't use that warm lighting, so let's just use pastel. Oh, wait. I can't even use brown. Even for lighting, I don't think we can use pastel brown. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Now I'm gonna add an outdoor eating area. Let's start decorating a bit on the, like, let's start adding some furniture finally because I'm getting sick of this taking forever. Um, let's add this patio table. I've been using a lot of transitional furniture, so I'm gonna limit myself to not use transitional furniture sets at all in this video. I was gonna put an umbrella here, but you know, there's just something already covering you, right? I wanna make my own picnic table, okay? I'm gonna do my own DIY primal dining table for the chairs we shall use these benches oh wait it's brown <laughs> it's brown not allowed to use brown sorry okay there's my diy picnic table even though there is already one picnic table but it's just not the style that i like you know more modern picnic tables they should add that modern picnic table that would be a good furniture idea I actually can't, I can't change that. I can't change that. I know it's brown, but <laughs> I can't change that. It's soil. It's still container house. I'm just like adding my own flair to it. Ooh. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I kind of like that. Okay, great. We're gonna go on the inside now. Let's work on the inside, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the kitchen. Like, what are you supposed to do with your house when there's like so many windows? Why is it so hard to make stuff? Like, why is it so hard to make a house? That is fine. I like that. There, okay, maybe like right here instead. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, I can't use blue. Haha, <laughs> I was already changing it. Ha, <laughs> one step ahead of you. Okay, cool. Perfect, perfect. That's our kitchen. Very functional and everything. We're not gonna add cabinets because um, unless you want your eyes to bleed, uh, I'd, I'd rather 
not do a cabinet. There you go, one cabinet above the fridge. Someone noticed I put a toaster next to the sink. Okay, as long as you don't have it plugged in, that's really good. But um, that's a bad idea, so don't do that. I don't know, I just put these things down. I don't really care where they go. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Maybe I'll just put it all in the corner. Bad appliances, get in the corner. We don't need a dishwasher, just wash the dishes by hand. That's fine. But just, yeah, just manually wash the dishes. You don't need a dishwasher. I don't use a dishwasher, personally. Fun fact, pita bread in his household does not use a dishwasher. For a dining table, we already have like outdoor eating, but I kind of want to include a little console table right here by the window. Now, living room. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a living room in this house but it'll be part of the bedroom. So the bedroom and living room could like be one together. You know what I'm forgetting? Maybe I should put a grill over here. All right, I'm gonna add some lighting in this house now. Uh, I feel like this house is gonna be bright. Uh, no, it's not that bad. So I'm just gonna keep it white lighting. No warm lighting in this household. Okay, moving on. Let's go to the next area. Bathroom, super simple, very easy to do. Toilet. Okay, there's our bathroom. It's done, very, very much done. And then I like to put the books cause they're colorful. I always like to use these books. Cause like you, maybe you could read on a toilet and it's also add some color. Okay, moving on, we're gonna start on the bedroom area and then also maybe add like a TV office sort of setup in here. And I feel like it could also double as a desk too. So like someone could be working and like you can watch TV. So like it's like a living room, living room, bedroom. Okay, once again, not using warm lighting. We're gonna use like smoky gray, stone gray and stuff. That's not quite warm at all. My entire house is gray. Um, If you thought brown was bad, I said this a bunch of times. If it's not brown, it's gray. Okay, but yeah, that's how that's taken care of. Like if you wanna watch TV, like sort of like a living room, you sit on the bed. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's brown. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry. I know that the doors are brown. I'm gonna change that last, okay? Don't worry. It's fine. Can I change that? Oh my god, I can. I can change that. But I can't change that soil, so we're excusing that. Is that blue I see? Oh my god, that's blue. That's a blue. We can't have that. Am I done? Can I be done now? Let's add our ketchup and mustard out here. Give a bit more color too. Looks fuller now. I didn't add a bookshelf in this house. I need to add one. It could actually fit this wall here. I could put a chair here, like I could just put like a chill chair right here, like this is the chill corner. Oh wait, the trees have brown. <laughs> oh no. Does this really count? I guess so. We gotta change up the trees. How about we just do- I'm not allowed to use brown. I know people are gonna be like that. They're like, Pita, <laughs> not to be so, you know. I'm not trying to make you annoyed or anything, but those trees are brown. There you go. They're like birch trees, actually. That could be a thing. Yeah, birch trees are a thing. So these could be like considered birch trees. That's a thing. Check Minecraft, Google it. It's a birch tree, it's white. I'm really kind of lazy though to like decorate this pathway, but I'm, you know, I'm just gonna put a little bit of effort into this. Something as simple as that will change it up. You know, it's not so boring. Okay, I'm done. I forgot to add lighting in some certain spots. Make sure there's no brown. Oh my God, the toilet paper. <gasps> okay. Okay, I'm doing the last minute checkouts before I give up, like before I actually like say I'm done. Okay, oh, there's brown in this. <laughs> this toaster has a bit of brown, can't have that. And there's nothing I can do about the soil, honestly. So we're gonna leave that as it is. This is a bright bathroom. Why is it so bright? <laughs> oh my God, it's so bright. What if I get rid of that light? Will that help it out? Oh my God, it's still bright. Okay, it doesn't even matter. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. I think I'm good. I hope I didn't miss anything. I hope nothing is like leftover brown. Alrighty guys, so our um, container house is finally complete and it's also, um, you know, a building challenge where I don't use gable roof. I don't use brown, blue, concrete, wall trims, and it can't be an L-shaped. I don't think this was L-shaped. It's not really L-shaped to be honest. There's like rectangles stacked on each other. Okay, uh, and no warm lighting because you guys hate me and all right, you, that's the new. Let's go ahead and take a look at how our house turned out. So I went with the container style themed. I don't even know if it's truly a container home, but I tried my best to make one. And it's also a bit of modern as well. Modern container, sort of, yeah. Yeah, you go up here. This is a um, outdoor, you know, a patio. So you can like have cookouts here with your friends and family. This is kind of just like a lounging thing because I couldn't figure out what else to do with it. Uh, if we go inside the house now. Oh yeah, here's how the house looks. So this is how uh, the inside looks. So you got your kitchen right away as you walk in. And there's also a bit of a, you know, dining area here too if you need to eat inside the house if it's raining or something. And then over here, we got like, uh, you know, a chill book reading area because I could not let this be like empty. 
And then if you go upstairs, this is like, oh, hello. Where do I want to go? We can go to the back, a balcony, a balcony. And then if we go through here, this is the bathroom. It's really bright in here. Excuse the lighting. It's a bathroom. It's so bright, my eyes. Out here is another balcony. It's kind of more of a lounging balcony. Although we have a lounging spot down there. We have two lounging spots. It's fine. And then if we go through here, this is my bedroom. It's kind of dark in here, but I didn't want to use warm lighting. But yeah, this is where you sleep. You can actually, you can actually sit on the bed. I don't know what, why I'm facing this way. <laughs> I meant it to face this way so you can watch TV here because there is no actual living room. So I kind of like put the living room inside the bedroom. Um, along with the office. Perfect. And that's my house. Woo! I made a house without using all of those things I mentioned, I think. But anyway, guys, that is basically it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, you found it dumb, silly, interesting, or inspiring in some sort of way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you guys want to continue watching any of the Roblox videos on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I'll talk to you in the next videos. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Have a wonderful day. Pita Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody. I pretend I don't see that.